Now for our benediction, I'm pleased to introduce Reverend Dr. Sylvester Beeman, the pastor of the Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Wilmington, Delaware, a friend of President Biden for 30 years. As a nation and people of faith gathered in this historical moment, let us unite in prayer. God, we gather under the beauty of your holiness and the holiness of your beauty. We seek your face, your smile, your warm embrace. We petition you once more in this celebration. We pray for divine favor upon our president, Joseph R. Biden, and our first lady, Dr. Jill Biden, and their family. We further ask that you would extend the same favor upon our vice president, Kamala D. Harris, and our second gentleman, Doug Imhoff, and their family. More than ever, more than ever, they and our nation need you. We need you, for in you we discover our common humanity. In our common humanity, we will seek out the wounded and bind their wounds. We will seek healing for those who are sick and diseased. We will mourn our dead. We will befriend the lonely, the least, and the left out. We will share our abundance with those who are hungry. We will do justly to the oppressed, acknowledge sin, and seek forgiveness, thus grasping reconciliation. In discovering our humanity, we will seek the good in and for all our neighbors. We will love the unlovable, remove the stigma of the so-called untouchables, we will care for our most vulnerable, our children, the elderly, emotionally challenged, and the poor. We will seek rehabilitation beyond correction. We will extend opportunity to those locked out of opportunity. We will make friends of our enemies. We will make friends of our enemies. People, your people, shall no longer raise up weapons against one another. We will rather use our resources for the national good and become a beacon of life and goodwill to the world. And neither shall we learn hatred anymore. We will lie down in peace and not make our neighbors afraid. In you, O oh God, we discover our humanity. In our humanity, we discover our commonness. Beyond the difference of color, creed, origin, political party, ideology, geography, and personal preferences. We'll become greater stewards of your environment, preserving the land, reaping from it a sustainable harvest, and securing its wonder and miracle-giving power for generations to come. This is our benediction, that from these hallowed grounds where slaves labored to build this shrine and citadel to liberty and democracy. Let us all acknowledge from the indigenous Native American to those who recently received their citizenship, from the African American to those whose foreparents came from Europe and every corner of the globe, from the wealthy to those struggling to make it, from every human being, regardless of their choices, that this is our country. As such, teach us, O oh God. As such, teach us, O oh God, to live in it, love in it, be healed in it, and reconcile to one another in it. 
lest we miss kingdom's goal. To your glory, majesty, dominion, and power forever. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. In the strong name of our collective faith, amen.